Okay, so today we're going to be putting these outriggers on. Uh, this is, we're going to mount them right up here on the top. This is a lighter duty outrigger. Uh, this boat's only 23 feet long, so I really don't need a great big huge $1,400 outrigger. Uh, this is more of a lighter duty one, uh, but it still has some of the really cool features. So just loosen this nut down on the bottom and you can swivel back and forth. And then obviously you have your adjustment up top and your locking pin. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't remember the name brand of these. I'll put the link in the description below. However, uh, I did come, the only thing that came in the box other than the outriggers uh, was this thank you letter. Uh, and it gives an email address and a phone number. Uh, it doesn't have the company name on here though. So that's all there is. There's no instructions, no anything, no template, no nothing. So first thing I did was, is I took these nuts off and then I unscrewed the uh, base the, uh, the swivel portion here or that allows for the swivel so I screw, unscrewed it all the way took it off and I'm going to be making a template with a piece of cardboard here just kind of stick that on here like this and then uh, I'm going to cut out all the way around the edges there and then mark my holes and then use the piece of cardboard as a template because uh, I really don't feel like taking this apart I could take it apart if I wanted to but I don't really want to get that far into it. You got to remove that uh, lock ring right there. I don't really feel like getting that in far into it. So I'm going to make my template real quick and we'll go mark our spots. Okay, so we got our template made. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is hold it up here. And I think I'm going to position them this way uh, so that they have maximum strength when they're hanging out over the side and the poles are fully extended. I'm going to go towards the center here uh, because that's the thicker part of my hard top. And I'm uh, probably going to have to reroute my strapping for my tea bag a little bit. I loosened it and kind of got it out of the way to do the work, but I may have to reroute that some way. Okay, I got the holes drilled for the starboard side. And um, make sure that you're wearing some type of safety glasses or something, because you're going to get fiberglass all in your face when you do this. If you're drilling from the bottom. So... It come, I took the nuts off. We got the nuts sitting over here. And it comes with two rubber paddings. I'm assuming, since there is no instructions, that I put one with the top and one with the bottom. So I'll go ahead and pull this off and then we'll set it through. Okay, so now we have it set in place. And this is what it looks like from the top. Obviously, it's going to be free spinning right now because the bottom's not attached yet. And then here's what it looks like from the bottom. And then we have the center hole there. Uh, these are 3 8 inch holes and this is a half inch hole right here. Okay, so now we got the uh, rubber plate on and all I have to do is stick the bottom of the base on and start screwing. Okay, so we have the first one mounted. Uh, bottom plate's on. Nuts and bolts are all tightened up. I'll kind of uh, show you how this functions a little bit. So basically we just loosen Let me get down here where I can see basically loosen this here like that and once it's loose it pushes up you'll see this actually rising right here and then it swivels back and forth uh, so then you can get it set however you want it so we'll just set it there and then I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about with it going up and down and then I'll tighten it down and it puts it into this little locking position you see it now it's locked in place uh, and then pretty much the same thing with this. We loosen this up. It comes loose and then goes up. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. It uh, goes up however high you want it. And then you just lock it back in place. Just kind of get it into the little teeth. And then that's locked in place. So you got there's a little bit of wiggle there. Let's see if all that. I can make it tighter. Look at there. Pulled it down further. Oh yeah, now it's locked in place. Now the only thing that's rocking is the boat. The boat is rocking, don't come a knocking. All right, so now we'll just mount the other one on the other side and we'll be set. So this is the outrigger pole on it now. I got the Taco Marine outrigger poles. I believe these are 12 foot poles. Uh, they're the aluminum ones and collapse. I just put one on for now, but there it is fully extended. Okay, now that we got the outriggers mounted, uh, I got the uh, Taco Marine outrigger kit. This is the premium 
uh, double rigging kit. It comes with a bunch of cordage and everything you need really. It's got the uh, the pulleys and the clips and the stoppers and everything. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is, is just go ahead and try to uh, undo some of this cordage real quick. Well, I got impatient and uh, started going too fast and I ended up with this mess here. So it's going to be invented. later okay finally got it untangled uh it took me about 15 minutes or so so i recommend not doing that unfortunately it did uh i got most of it sitting down there stacked on top of each other neatly so that it'll come loose uh it only came with the whole bundle was only one line so i'm going to run one at a time so that way i got the proper slack uh basically all we're going to do now is we're going to start from the bottom eyelet and we're just going to thread it through until we get to the top. Okay, now that we've got it threaded through, we're going to take our stopper and we're going to just run the line through here. Of course, the wind is not cooperating at all. There we go. And then we take our snap swivel. through the line this particular kit comes with the uh, dead gum just not fitting hold on give me one second okay now I got it the uh, end was just melted so wide that it wouldn't really fit through there very well and I'm kind of at a weird angle uh, behind the camera trying to tie all this off so this also comes with crimps, uh, but I'm not going to use crimps because I don't really care to use crimps on this type of line. So basically all I'm going to do is a overhand knot or a loop knot, just like that. Take it to the very end. Right at the very tip there. Slide my swivel down. And then I'm going to go all the way around one time, push back through the hole, just like that. And then I'm going to bring that whole knot down onto the swivel. So I'm pulling the main line, not the tag line. So that I get it all the way down there and then that little overhand knot will keep it from pulling back through. And then you have a nice sturdy knot. Okay, then we want to take our release clip. Uh, this is the release clip clips that came with it. It is an adjustable release clip. It has adjustable tension right here. Uh, we want to make sure that we have it to where it opens down and away. And I think on all of those, all of these that are this style, it will be, uh, the adjustment will be to the top every time, I believe. At least in all the ones that I've seen from Taco Marine. So we just run that onto the clip. And then next what we'll do is, is we will, and let me just real quick show you again that that's going down and out. Next what we'll do now is we'll set the pole to where we want it so that we can set our tension. Okay, on my boat, I have this handrail that starts right here, just about in line with where the outrigger pole is going to be at so i don't really want to install the camel backs that come with this 
It comes with some really nice stainless steel camelbacks. This is what the camelbacks look like. And you could just mount it to your gun just like this. Uh, it comes with some nice stainless steel screws. And then you could just clip this into there. But instead, I just clipped it around itself onto here. Uh, because I don't want to poke more holes in my gunnel if I don't have to. Okay, we want to pull out the slack until we get just a little bit of bend in the end of the line, or in the end of the pole. Yeah, this wind is getting crazy on me all of a sudden. Let me get some footage of the uh, pole bending down a little bit. You just kind of want it to come down an inch or two try to get some footage of that this wind is not making it easy on me so about right there just a nice little tension to it I'm gonna keep a little bit of tension on the line okay now that we have our tension set make sure that's where I want it okay and I'm just gonna kind of hold it in place pull up a little bit more there there we go I like that Okay, so then I'm just gonna hold it in place. And what we want to do, damn it. Okay, there we have it. Now both of them are attached. And all we gotta do is repeat the same process on the other side, and we're done.